Jade Cornell. Hello? Hello? <sighs> TV. Are you tired of the same old fantasies? With the Virtual World Tomorrow update, the fantasy is reality. Coming to a VR unit near you, August 14th, 2020. Euro Dream Technologies. Your dream is our dream. News Channel. Abelard Huxley of Euro Dream. Shares in the company rocketed once again today with the global launch of Virtual World Tomorrow only two days away. Off. Game. Retro folder. Mighty Joe Jupiter. Mighty Joe Jupiter! What's up, glitches? And welcome to this is a stick up hand of hand over your likes and subscriptions now <laughs> I got a gun bang 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 <laughs> yeah just kidding what's up glitches welcome to a weird one a very very weird one welcome to end game this is a PS2 exclusive uh, on rail shooter that is not at all designed for the way that I'm playing it. So you might have noticed in the in the title of this video, attempt. There's a reason for that. This game is kind of uh, this game's kind of BS. So. This is one of those games, just like Time Crisis Project Titan. I, I swear that those two, Project Titan and the Time Crisis Project Titan and this game are the only games in this marathon that are going to be technically incomplete. Okay? So this game is hard. Really, really freaking hard. Not because it's like necessary, not because the enemies are fast or they hit you a lot or anything like that. No, 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 no. It's hard because you have an extremely limited amount of lives and the game is very long. I haven't even made it past. The I don't even know. I don't even I don't even know if I've made it to like the one third point of this game ever because this is one of those games that you need like the rest of these games in this marathon you could feasibly be with your with a with a, a play, with a PlayStation controller on the D-pad or an analog stick you can do it it'd be hard but you could do it this game hell no hell no this game, you need that gun controller. You need the accuracy and speed that a gun controller, the gun con 2, can give you. Because this is as fast as I can move my aim. Look at it. This is as fast. Enemy pops up on the left. Enemy pops on the right. Enemy pops up up there. That, like, it sure doesn't, it doesn't seem like a lot. But that time difference is insane. And here's the worst part, in my opinion. So, this, this here determines your speed. How fast your reticle moves with the controller. This is novice mode, so you can more accurately aim. And this is expert mode. Oh, god. Ah! Like, I slightly tilt it to the left. Like, sure, you're gonna get your aim faster. Like, I'll be able to aim and react faster, but... God, it's... It's so unstable. So dang quick that I cannot, like, properly aim... Look, I'm gonna aim at the O and options. No! <sighs> Look, this is me trying to aim at the O and options with novice mode. Because I have to tilt the analog stick just barely enough. And now here, here's novice mode, me aiming at the O. 
look, much faster, much better aim with slow mode, but your reaction speed will suffer big time. Like, if an enemy pops up and is about to shoot you, you're not going to have time to shoot him. There's no way in hell you have the time to shoot him. So, yeah, there's no way I'm beating this. 100%. Unlike Time Crisis Project Titan, this is, this I have a 0% chance of beating with the controller, ever. So, if you want me to beat the game, it's probably just skip over to the next game in the marathon. Uh, you might want to just skip over to uh, Dead Storm, D Dead Storm Pirates, uh, the pirate game. That game is fun. That game is fun, and you can beat it with a controller, no problem, with relatively no problem. It's silly, it's wacky. This game is silly and wacky too, in a different way. But like, this is the one that I'm gonna have the least amount of fun with, truth be told, because it's like so dang slow or so dang fast sorry for being a downer anyway end game is essentially like have you ever have you if you guys have ever seen a movie called run lola run hey, Tyler. very similar vibes they have extremely similar vibes i don't even know if you can hear this guy because of the compression um but uh essentially uh, this guy found out a secret about an online service that's going on. And he left a gun for this girl. And, uh, secret agents are going after them both. Why? Well, we just have to play the game and find out. And here's the thing. The game isn't bad. It's not. If I, if I had a gun controller... This would actually be a pretty decent time. But look at how slow my aim is. And there is no middle speed. If there was, that'd be amazing. Yep. Oh, and here's the uh, that guy right there is the equivalent of the time crisis red guys where they have amazing aim every other enemy not so much but yeah it's like the game like you get teeny tiny like not even levels you get like teeny tiny sections and then it goes to like a cutscene to show you a tiny bit of story like that before And then it ah. I will say if you if you if you're on YouTube if you're watching this video on YouTube which you should watch listen to the music for this game it is a surprisingly good soundtrack like the entire soundtrack not just the levels that I'm about to show you oh I lost a few seconds that's not good Okay, see, that was a warning shot. That hit me. Oh! You got secret agent guy. No! Oh yeah, and if you run out of time, game over. Period. End of story. You lose the game. The entire game. If you lose... If you get a game over, you restart the game from the beginning. There is no, like, state, here's level one section. Here's level two section. Nope. You get a game over, back to the start. And this entire game from beginning to end, uh, if you're good and you have a gun controller, uh, is about two, two and a half hours long. So... Or actually, no, not like two, an hour and a half to two hours long. 
So that's an hour. That's an hour to it. That's an hour and a half or so long that you have to play. And if you lose, you start it all over again. And as you can probably tell from the music, assuming you can hear it properly, I haven't sound che ah, checked it. Uh, it's a very good soundtrack. Seriously, look up Endgame PS2 soundtrack. It's actually a really good soundtrack. Oof! Freaking secret agent man! But yeah, you have a limited amount of lives, a limited amount of hits. Oh, and here's the thing though. You have three hits per section. If you get hit twice and you survive the section, you get all your health back. However, you only have a certain number of full health refills. Uh, these full health refills are only activated when you lose all three. So if I get hit three times, that'll use a full health refill. That will use a full health refill. But if I can make it to the end of this section without getting hit, without dying, then my health gets refilled to full anyway, like for free. No health refill necessary. So... The game encourages you, you can you can take one or two hits, but you absolutely, positively cannot get a, like, lose th all three lives in a section. Otherwise, you get hit with the real penalty. Is that all of them? Yes, it is. Okay. Actually, let me move myself a little bit to the left. Yeah. Jade, if you're watching this, they've got me. Eurodream launches virtual world tomorrow in two. Oh yeah, and this tells you it's like, oh my god, evil computer evil computer corp corporation that's setting up the, the the internet for the entire planet is setting up a brainwashing system, essentially. Everyone who uses the internet, essentially. I'm, I'm just making a simple version of the plot. Everyone who uses the internet is going to get brainwashed to become their slaves forever. If you, if you, unless you stop them, you random red haired girl, you need to stop them. This is for you. I'm, I'm in danger. Do your job and keep out of my way. The target is on site. Uh oh. They know, they know I'm here. Front lobby. She's uh -oh. in the front lobby. She came through the front door. It's not like I made myself super obvious and everything. Bright red hair. And bright red pants. But yeah, I'm gonna try and make it as far as I can in this, okay? I am not promising to beat the game. Heck no. This game I am not beating. <laughs> Especially since, you know, modern TVs are not compatible with, you know, gun con controllers because you need the, uh, the red, blue, the red, yellow, and, uh, white cable thing in the TV to use the gun cons. So no motion controls for these. Secret Agent Man. But yeah, Time Crisis 2, this is not. I will say, I think the environments, like the levels themselves, look just as good as Time Crisis 2. But like, the character models look a little bit like... Clay-like? Quote-unquote realistic-like. Quote-unquote realistic, but like, made of clay, in my opinion. Like, the character models are made of clay, that's what it looks like to me. Um, but the environments look pretty good, actually, and the music is good. And the one boss fight I've made it to, correction, two boss fights I've made it to are, you know, pretty decent fights. Simple, but pretty cool fights. I just hope one day I can, you know, 
play these to completion. Oh, don't shoot her. Ah! Secret agent bomb, and then he shoots me. Oh, ah, oh, wait, is he switching out grenades? I think he's switching out. I never noticed that, huh? He's throwing like regular grenades, and then he throws like flashbang grenades. That's interesting. Okay, here's our first real or our first boss. Oh my god, that that those lips. Those are man's lips. <laughs> but yeah, first boss. This definitely not wild dog looking guy with shades. Wait, I got him. He's on the left. Wait. Uh, hide. Secret agent man. Mr. Anderson. Oh, God. Hey, now there's a game that I'm interested if you guys would ever want to see it on the channel. Uh, and the, the Matrix uh, Path of Neo for the PS2. Now there's an interesting idea. I don't know. I, I'm. Hmm. Would I get? I mean, it has a lot of clips from the movie. I could definitely see like if playing it could get me copyright claimed. Got him. Ugh, no blood at all. He also dropped a grenade. First boss defeated. I've only ever defeated the second boss, which is actually pretty much immediately after. You'll see. Uh oh. Well, it looks like uh, he's going out like wild dog. Boom. <laughs> I just killed somebody. Then again, I just killed like 30 plus guys already. Eh, well. Uh oh, they already got rid of it. The secret computer code thing, Majig, that that was gonna take over the world. And also, this guy has a Gatling gun. You're insane. You're going nowhere. You're insane. No, I'm a businessman. I didn't come here to lose, Angelis. <laughs> Same difference. Okay, second boss. I've only ever beaten this guy, and then like I die in like the the next section or two after him. Like, the next section or two after him is when I usually get a game over. <sighs> and I think we have three continues, you know, like running out of lives thing. <sighs> Come on. Man, he... He could take a lot of damage for just some random business guy. Ah! Ah! Freaking! Oh, he could. He took a continue. No, he actually took one of my three precious continues. Oh. 
No. Nope. And again, remember, if we run out of time, it's instant game over. Hey, I dodged that. I pressed the square button. Why didn't you? Ah, let me dodge. Guy on top, guy. Ah, secret agent man! Ah! Okay, he's gotta be. Oof. No! I lost two continues on that guy! Dang it! I lost two continues on him! Whatever, he's dead. Blah. Dang it! If I had just managed to land that last hit earlier. And it could have walked away with two continues into the next levels. Um, oh right, plot. Uh, blah blah blah, evil... There's an evil AI and there's a good AI. Uh, the evil AI is gonna use to brainwash everybody. The good AI is the, the prototype. The good AI is trying to tell us, hey, there's three keys. You got one of them. There's still two more keys. Find these three keys and you could shut down the evil AI. Yeah, and there's the good AI, or the quote-unquote good AI. I don't know if he's... He, I feel like he might betray us at some point, but I don't know. What the? Figures, ambulance. Now we're in the middle of the forest trying to track down the second code. And suddenly we're attacked. By ninjas, I mean. More soldiers, not ninjas. That'd be ridiculous. Time crisis. Anyway. Oh! This soundtrack! It's chaotic, but it's fun. Ugh! Secret Agent Man. The heck is Secret Agent Man doing in the middle of the woods? That feels like... That feels like the start of a really bad joke. So a couple of militia men and a Secret Agent Man walk into the woods. Okay, okay, okay. Why are there so many Gatling gun guys? Ah! Guys. And I don't know if the zero counts. Like, if I run, if I die, if I get hit two more times, do I still keep ah! going? No! Okay, the zero does count. That it? Nope. Oh my god, how many of these guys are there? Gatling gun. Okay, and then this next section is the section where I always die. And it looks like, judging by my health and continues, uh, this is probably where I'm gonna die again. But I would say at this point, we're at about the halfway point of the game, give or take. I would say we're, uh, I would say we're about halfway, give or take. But yeah, I have never beaten this section. So hey, if we survive, that'll be awesome. That'll be that'll be something at least to be pr ah! proud of. <sighs> Are you proud of me, glitches? 
for trying to make it this far for you. Explosive barrels. Obviously, explosive barrels. I like how it, I like this fast beat. Like we're just oh you, ah, freaking rocket launchers. See, great man. No. Ah. I'm just gonna take the L. Oh, whoa. Whoa, freaky. Hold on. Okay, that was weird. The signal disconnected for a second. That was weird. But yeah, for the most part, like that is endgame. Well, for the most part, I do have a little something else to show you, too. Like, you know, there isn't just endgame. You get a little bonus thing. Uh, every time you beat uh, a big chunk of endgame, you get a bonus level in this little thing called Mighty Joe Jupiter. Mighty Joe Jupiter is essentially like... It's the video game that she was playing at the start of the game. Um, and it's essentially just like a cheesy space adventure thing. I want to say, like, collectively, all three episodes are, like, 20 minutes. Uh, you get, like, this for reaching up to, like, where the Gatling gun guy is. You get the episode two for beating, like, the next boss, probably. And then you get three for beating the game. Uh, there is a cheat code that I did enter to the, the only really cheat code. Uh, and it unlocked all the Mighty Joe Jupiter levels just so I could try them out. And uh, they are BS hard, especially episodes two and three. So, you know, as a little bonus. Huh, evil aliens taking over the universe. Only Mighty Joe Jupiter. Definitely not Captain Quark. Me can save the world. The universe. I do like the theme song, though. It's cheesy, but I like it. And yeah, it's, it is basically, like, identical in terms of gameplay. Just aim and shoot. You got three hits to survive. You got six shots. Uh, there's red aliens that have much better aim. But yeah, it's 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 a neat little distraction. It's a nice little bonus. You know, hey, if you, you know you you get end game, and then the more you play that, the better you, the more levels you do in that, you you get a little bonus game on the side. It's a teeny tiny one, but it's a little bonus game. Ooh. Recharge, aka reload. And that is chapter one of Mighty Joe Jupiter. We saved this random girl alien, but our scientist buddy is still kidnapped. The aliens are still gonna take over the universe. Oh no! <laughs> to be continued in Mighty Joe Jupiter, episode two. And just for the record, there is no way we're beating episode 2 and 3 of Mighty Joe Jupiter. Again, it's super hard. Like, episodes 2 and 3 of Mighty Joe Jupiter are actually really hard. Uh-huh. Kidnap scientist. Space station. Got it. Oh, you could shoot those? Neat. I actually did not know that you could shoot those grenade things. But yeah, you get, you know, you get the, 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 the cheesy action film of, uh, Endgame. Ah, this guy hit me with a freaking toilet plunger thing. Hey, red guy. 
We gotta- Oh my god, I just realized. There's red guys, there's green guys, there's gray guys, they're aliens, and we're in space! Amoogus? Amoogus? Amoogus! Hey! Oi! Can we beat stage two of Mighty Joe Jupiter? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We got one. We got one hit left. Can we do it? Oh God! A guy with a Gatling gun. Ah. Hey, we did it. That is the first time I have ever beaten Mighty Joe Jupiter Episode 2. Those red guys usually get me. We've saved our scientist, buddy. Yay. But the evil emperor is still alive. We can't have that now, can we? <laughs> and Mighty Joe Jupiter Episode 3. Okay, now this one for sure we're not beating. There's the evil alien. He has a doomsday laser. He's gonna blow up the Earth. We gotta stop him. Let's see what I mean. It's just like a nice little like 10, 15 minute diversion. Action! But, like, you know, don't be warned. <laughs> you stay. <sighs> I should not have gotten out at the time he got me. I saw it, like, the second before it happened. But yeah, we're making our way to the front so we can take out the alien leader. Hey! These guys in their stupid plungers. Action. Oi! Red guy. Red Amoogus! They're red aliens, therefore Amoogus. Oh, ah! Okay, now that's a cheap move. We got one hit left. Action. There's the uh, alien leader. Uh. No! Oh my god, wait! How am I not dead? How am I not? No! And so, Mighty Joe Jupiter is defeated. Oi. Blah. Where'd this piano come from? Blah. Game over. You're pretty good. Well, I tried. <laughs> But yeah, 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 that is, that is Endgame. That is Mighty Joe Jupiter. And, uh, it's a nice little game. If I had a gun controller, so I can aim and react faster with better aim, uh, this could be such a fun time. Or better yet, you know what? If you, if you have, if you have the ability to emulate this on PC, Maybe you would have a fun time using the mouse to aim, probably. So, you know, that's always an option. There's also unlockables like a shotgun that you can get, or a machine gun and a shotgun that you can get for beating the game. So, though, yeah, so yeah, there is a few more unlockables. So, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed my frustration and defeat in both Endgame and Mighty Joe Jupiter. 
And uh, I'll see you around, glitches. See you with the next game of On Rails August, which is Dead Storm Pirates. A personal favorite. I love it. It's really fun and silly. Um, also, uh, if you can, you know, I'd really appreciate and if you leave a like, maybe subscribe if you want to, you know, keep up to keep up to date with um, the rest of my stuff that I do. I play a lot of random games. Maybe subscribe. Check them out. Uh, a lot of weird stuff coming down the pipe, I assure you. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, links in the description, etc., etc. Twitter, TikTok. I'm on, I'm on Twitter all the time. I'm literally on Twitter all the time. It's where I put my schedule and stuff, too. So, you know, have a great day. See you around, glitches. Bye-bye. <laughs> Mighty Joe. Jupiter! Ooh!